Hello, fellow mech aficionados, those who love the two-legged machines of I am your dread, and I am back to give you another build. So this is the Timberwolf. I've done a video on the Timberwolf before. This one looks a lot like that one, because it is a lot like that one. But there are some key differences. This is not the hero mech. This is the Timberwolf Prime, aka the most famous mech in the game, because it's the one that was on Mech Warrior 2. It's the one that um, appeared in the TV show. I'm not uh, doing that right now. And uh, yeah, it is it is the mech that if you've never seen a mech, uh, this is the mech you've seen. And basically what we have here is two pulse, medium pulse lasers in both arm. That is where the mech gets its name. It is a tag laser in the nose. Or, well, I guess this is off center. Although, you know what? You could put it in the nose. And then on the shoulders, we've got ATM nines. So let's have a look at the full layout. In fact, you know what? Uh, oh wait, no, the nose one's a machine gun port. That's why I didn't use it as that. Okay, so it does have to be here. So there's our setup. Uh, XL engine 375. We have no control of that. We're very very quick at, with a speed of 81 kilometers an hour. 54 going backwards basically. We have almost full armor. Just a little bit off the legs. Uh, don't need full armor because honestly um, I play this mech more like a close range support in a lot of ways but um, there's not really anything else I could I really could think to do to be honest uh, I've got a heat efficiency of 1.15 uh, 1.51 pardon me very good with just the four heat sinks and don't really I don't know I guess you could do more ammo maybe I don't know Excuse me. You could, I guess, pull armor off for an additional half ton of ammo or something like that. Um, I don't know. I like it this way. And uh, let's go to the skill tree. So on the skill tree, we have our standard ATM stuff. Uh, basically, all the missile nodes, high explosive, additional missile racks, missile spread. Give us the cooldown. Give us the heat gen nodes because it's a pretty hot build. Give us the laser duration nodes we do have four lasers and uh then in the survival tree this is kind of just what i had left over uh to be honest uh but we got mm, a fairly good chunk of the armor hardening hardening nodes to increase our ability to take damage uh mobility nothing there jump jets nothing there operations full cool run pretty standard and then in the sensors, we went with the standard radar deprivation, plus I added a seismic sensor. I just had a random point left over. Um, it's not a bad idea because a light mech will try to absolutely stomp your day. And the extra consumable slot for the value point to get a UAV and a cool shot because you will find this mech will get hot and the UAV will allow us to sometimes get locks on stuff that we wouldn't otherwise get and form a little bit of a scouting role because it is fast enough to get to the front lines and do some things vector off into uh, various uh, flanking maneuvers where it can just pump ATMs out. Uh, a little bit of disco ball of death because the pulse lasers are so trippy and uh, the tag is there to help us with countering ECM, stealth, that kind of thing. So let's get out on the battlefield and show you what uh, this iconic mech, although not iconic build, uh, can bring to the table. We are here at the uh, HPL Cita uh, Manifold, and we are facing off in an assault mode against the enemy. Um, assault is fine here, although I prefer dominance or, uh, or domination or uh, just a plain old skirmish battle, but uh, this will be my third pick. It's, uh, what it is is that with the, some being such defined pathways through here, I don't like it for, like, conquest mode or, like, I don't know if escort or incursion are even really a thing on this map. Maybe they are. And, uh, that would seem like a terrible, terrible idea. So what we're gonna do is, oh, we're gonna shoot stuff. That's what we're gonna do. I could try and tag that light mech, but I don't think the shot is uh, going to be 
worth the potential okay. risk. So we got a summoner and a mad dog. Clan tech. Mad dog's an SRM street boat. So we don't want to get too close to him, frankly. But we can unload there's two salvos of ATMs into him. Noted. Uh, I want to be kind of away from the main fight if I can and lob ATMs at it. Target acquired. New target acquired. It all coming around. Spotted. Try and help this herb. Oh, I'm being held up by something. Okay. Someone dealt us. Add a delta four. New target acquired. Thank you. Target spotted. New target acquired. We did get a pretty decent hit on that summoner, so that was probably worth it. Although, what I really want is that Atlas. Target spotted. See if I can get shots down here into the enemy. There. New target acquired. Need assistance. New target acquired. Up uh, four two, but it doesn't feel like it, does it? Box is open. New target acquired. We're not going to get a lock on this adder. Some coming out there. Target spotted. The server mech has become our good buddy. Next. New target acquired. Need assistance. Target acquired. Do we go after the other Timberwolf? We probably do. Our team is a little lost, but we are up. Oh, underneath, duck. They're all down here with me. Trying to help you out. And help is here. Oh, Rotary Auto Cannon Marauder build. That's one of my lovelies. Don't give me a back. Two kills just like that. Two left, or one left, guys. Um, I hope it's not that commando. I can't get a good, can't get a lock on him. My ATMs are so useless. Okay, let's play Marco Polo. Or we just go cap his base. I'm gonna go cap his base. I don't want to. I don't want to fuck around with a fucking uh, commando. He's got a UAV. Up. Somewhere near Charlie Five, we got a low signal. Enemy base is being captured. Roger. Yeah, right in front of that one. I'm gonna cover the guy capping. Very nice. Nice work, guys. Thanks. Nice work. 
so there goes game one in the Pulse Fire Team B. It's the first time I've played it actually with full skills. Feels good. Uh, like it. 462 damage, 259 attack, and two kills. Do the end there. Eight assists. One solo kill, one kill most damage dealt. Mm, pretty good game altogether. I'm actually pretty happy with that. How'd our team do? Uh, ooh, big game from the Atlas, like that. Where's that urban mech who's helping me out? He's either one of these two, and either way, he did great. 500 plus damage for the Urbies. Very nice game, gentlemen. Very big game from Cinerous Monk and something awful. My hat's off to both of you. And, eh, I mean, there were there there was some not great. And 112 there from the Arctic Wolf. Uh, 129 from the Wolfhound Grinner is not great. He's the guy that ended up capping. So he survived and got that low. I'd say that's that's a kind of weak game. But everyone else, hats off to the team. Great work and onwards to get battle number two. Welcome to the Forest Colony. I am actually wait. I'm yeah, thinking of different maps. Colorado games won't fucking drop me again. That would be ideal. This, I was I was for some reason thinking this was the swamp map. It is not the swamp map. So never mind what I was about to say. I was gonna say I have like super messy battles all the time here. That is not the case. This is actually this is actually a map I do enjoy. Um, it is one that the mech is pretty good at. And I am pondering something. I pondered this before, but I want to make a laser vomit mech that uses every color of the damn rainbow in its lasers. I have yet to find a mech that I can do that on and not have it suck. So there's a challenge for everybody. Okay. Nice, a nice fatty lance here. Some of us are kind of wandering off right now. Personally, I'm just trying to head over to the assault mech. Appreciate that. But, uh, I'm Careful, not you guys over in each six. Especially if you stick with, uh, near me, I have uh, quadruple AMS and nearly 20,000 rounds for it. Oh, well, now you've just nice. become my best friend in the world. Oh, yeah, no, I fucking lurps. I will bathe you in the blue glow of my ECM in return. Ah. Sweet. I will block ATMs on anything that comes near us. That's that's the best I can offer you. <laughs> uh, granted, I only have quadruple large lasers, so I could do a good bit of damage. I just uh, stay alive for a bit to do it. Who's back at Hotel 7? Come on, move up! Kind of picking a different direction to go than usual. Yeah, apparently. I mean, I have no idea where the fuck we're going. Hopefully, it surprises them. Let's let's think positive. <laughs> I, I hey, if it surprises am. us, if it surprises us, you know. Anyone have a UAV to pop out? Target. Okay, we got a target in Hotel Eight. Everybody, Uziel. Move that far, don't move that far, don't chase. Just making him pay a little. Too zoomed in, I didn't see you there. 
get some Marty on them. They're nicely grouped up. As soon as it's available. New target acquired. Target acquired. Target acquired. New target acquired. Oh shit, let me have him behind. New target acquired. All right behind us. Where? Uh, I think it, yeah, uh, F8. Mark Strat 8, Roger. New target acquired. Target Cowardly acquired. backstabbing assholes. New target acquired. Hotel's going down. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Got that little fucking shit. Nice. New target acquired. Nice kill on Bravo. We got a couple splitting off in Hotel 9, but it's largely light stuff. Never mind, they got a proper right. flanking force coming in. Gonna come in behind we're, them. Yeah, we're gonna need to get out of Golf 9, guys. And probably Golf 8. Or we're gonna get pincered. New target acquired. Foxtrot, King Crab. Oh shit, sorry. I was firing before I saw you run in front of me. Let's see if we can make this happen still. It's a bit messy, but we might be able to do it. Got a, we got a light in among the assaults. If we can kill him, that'd be big. There he is, he's down. Don't worry too much about the flank coming from Gulf 9. I think it's just a Phoenix Hawk at this point. Actually, I'm pretty sure it is just him because now they have only three mechs left. Coming through. For me, because I'm pretty cord. Okay, Phoenix Hawk and Light left. Target acquired. Target 
If you can take the leg or the uh, the arm off the Phoenix Hawk, he'll have no weapon. Or, or just Got kill him. That works too. Or just shoot him in the face. That works too. That works, yeah. I mean, that was kind of more like the collarbone yeah. area, but still. Alright, last yeah, one. I'm almost dead. Ah, you did your job though, man. A lot of AD AMS yeah. support. You're still going. Appreciate it. Still got two of them left. ECM about 8, to counter rounds. Jakey. Jakey. Yeah, ECM counter is ECM, guys. Plus, you get a point for it. I That's don't true. have ECM. Somebody um, does, not just me. I was hoping some of our lights would. I do. This is good. All right, try and stay somewhat close together, though. We're very beat up, so he could play hit and run games. No problem. I have a red core and no left or so. Or right or so, actually. I mean, that's more than I have. Stay together, um, guys. Stay together. My mech is dead somewhere around Golfy. Eh? So what is this? A locust? No jump jets then? Um, I couldn't make out what it was. It looked kind of like maybe a locust or a flea. I think it's a locust. Is locust? Okay. He was over toward uh, H7. Just saw him run on your HUD. This is the worst part of the game. There he is! Alright, rejoining. This is the worst part of the game, is when you get, like... Yay! Awesome, guys. That was fun. Good game, yeah, man. I got, three I got three kills. What the heck? Nice. Nobody's more surprised than me. 1,369 missiles destroyed. Nice. Very oh, nice. Hey, I got top damage. I'm happy with that. Nice. I got no KMDDs, but I got three killing blows, so... That's how you steal I... kills, guys. <laughs> hey, whoa. Kill nice. secure, sir. Kill secure. Uh, yeah, I know, but yeah, there was a time where running around behind him and shooting him in the back worked really well. All right, thanks yeah, for nine kill assists and two kills. Eh, anyway, I'm just happy about the missiles. Exactly. Well done. Later. Later. Anyways, that's my Pulse Fire build. I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I'm feeling Raven might be next up. So if you're a Light Mac fan, get ready for that.